Hi, I'm Seth with Land of House. I just got the One Win Bug Net Hammock and thought I would open it with you on camera and have a first look. So let's see what's inside of this bag. So whenever you open this up, it's got a drawstring on both sides, which allows you to pull it off to one side or the other and keep it on the hammock so you don't lose it. So I'm looking like, looks like you can pull these out for your AM steel cords. Very nice. I think I might go ahead and pull this bag off to one side so we can get this hung up real quick. Let's head over here to a tree and see what we can do. Has some really nice one wind straps here to allow you to go around a tree without causing any damage to the tree. This tree here is almost uh, 12 inches. So let's go ahead and wrap this a couple of times and use this one as our first hang tree here. There's the first one. Let's get the next one installed. Okay, I've got my next tree here. This hammock is a 10 foot hammock, so hopefully I'll have enough space here between my trees. Okay, there we go. Okay, I restuffed the hammocks. So we'll have a better experience with hanging this up because you're supposed to just take one of the metal clips here and it says go through on the bottom one like such and then go back through on the top one like such. And I'm guessing maybe these little blue pieces here will hold back the rest of your strapping there. I probably should look into that. And then we go over to the other side by uh, opening this piece and it will pull the hammock through. And we'll go over here and install the other one of these clips on the other side. Looks like I'll have to adjust my straps a bit because <laughs> that's not gonna reach. So definitely would be helpful to walk out your distance before setting this up. So, all right, looks like I'm gonna need an extra four feet or so. Okay, that's much better. So it's better to have too much strap at the tree and then use your metal buckle to adjust the length from there. Uh, so that's what I've done here. So you can easily just cinch this down as needed right here. Now the ridge line is attached right here by a knot, comes down the hammock, and on this side, I just looped it around the buckle here and into the uh, top side of the knot there. So hopefully that is sufficient. I'm gonna keep this side of the bug netting cinched down, and let's go ahead and stretch this out all the way to the other end. Go ahead and cinch this one down. Okay, something to that effect. Now, let's go ahead and climb up in here and see what we get. So the entryway is underneath your bug netting, which has a cinch cord on both sides. You just climb up in there like this, and when you sit down, you have to reach up under and get that netting cinched down again. See how easy that is to do here. Pull on one side. The one time that I went camping in a hammock without the bug netting, it was a miserable experience. <laughs> so I definitely am happy to have this bug netting here. So to get it to 
totally close up actually takes a bit of work to cinch it all together here. Yeah, not too bad. I feel like the bug netting is just far enough away to uh, keep the mosquitoes from getting through. You definitely know how pesky they can be in a hammock. The webbing is quality. It didn't stretch at all like some that I've tried out in the past. It does have the loop on both ends, so whichever side you go with, you'll be able to use that with the hammock. Now, the uh, buckle itself is a touch on the heavy side, but uh, it does work very well and is so nice to be able to adjust quickly. It's one of the things I have really enjoyed about that kind of buckle. Has your am steel here for the hammock attachment. Nothing too new, but really nice to have. And then also has it once again here for the ridge line. Pretty simple cinch down solution here for your bug netting. So if you wanted to take the bug netting uh, down or off while you're just kind of lounging, you could pretty easily slide that out of the way. The hammock itself is made of this hexagon shaped ripstop and uh, definitely nice and strong. Has a single storage bag up here in the bug netting. The ridge line is also adjustable. You have to have two hands to do that in there, but can be done. If you want to use some pullouts, you can. The hammock has a number of these loops. So as the closure goes, it's plenty big enough for a person to get into the hammock, but uh, cinching it down all the way is a bit tough. Let's see what it takes to cinch it down here. So if I were to grab this one and just give it a strong pull, it's got bungee cord in the, uh, the loop here, so it's not the easiest thing to gather up. Go ahead and get both sides. Now I understand the purpose of the bungee. It allows this to stretch some as you move about, but uh, it's just difficult to get that last little bit of closure in there. So that right there may be enough to keep out the unwanted mosquitoes. I'm sure if you took a little extra time, you could get that done. Let's do a first person climb into the hammock here. Get that bug netting over the head. Get a seat down in here. Not the right shoes for this. Typically I wouldn't wear any shoes in a hammock. Ah, there we go. So, as far as the hammock goes with the net, it's, uh, it's there. It's typical, I'd say. But what's really nice is that it uh, hangs down lower than the hammock, so your tail's not going to be eaten up by mosquitoes. And then, like I was showing earlier, it's got a storage net up here. So you can pull that down to where you want it and have some storage. Huh. A fly was just trying to get to me and couldn't. That sure is nice. <laughs> All right, let's get a little diagonal going here. Setup was actually quite simple. I think with a little practice, you could have that down to maybe three or four minutes. But uh, let's see what it's like to take this back down. I'm gonna pull through the straps first. Okay. And then I think I'll cinch down this one end around that buckle. And then I should just be able to uh, start stuffing as I go along here. I 
get the other side done over here. Now knowing how I camp, I probably wouldn't take the time to roll those straps back up in here. I'm probably more likely to just open one side and stuff them in. So let's see how well that's going to work when I get this at the other end here. Okay, I just want to see how well the straps can be just shoved back in there. Yeah, not too bad. Let me know in the comments if that's how you camp. <laughs> just stuff it in there. But anyway, there you go. Worked out pretty well. And there you have it. My first look at the one wind hammock with bug netting. The only real issue I had was that the bungee on the bottom didn't allow for easy closure of the bug net. I'm sure it would be a really simple fix if you just took out the bungee and put in some 550 paracord or something like that. But as is, nice hammock. I really like how the straps did not budge whenever I got in there. And I do also like that the uh, system is all with this hexagonal uh, ripstop, so the hammock didn't move either. So definitely a thumbs up on that one. If you want to check out the One Win Hammock, I have a link to their Amazon page in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.